Then Akwe Helen, thank you so much for joining me today. I have a specific question about the vaccine and that is around its development and the speed of the development and whether the speed means that safety was compromised. Oh, kia ora, Jennifer. Well, there's, there's traditionally been a lot of obstacles to us getting vaccines through fast. Um, we've always had the science there to be able to do it. But this time we also had the money, we had enough people willing to participate in the trials. We had lots of disease around so that we could see if the vaccines worked or not. And also the regulatory agencies that often just don't get to look at the data till the very end could review it alongside. This enabled all of that to happen very quickly. No steps were missed and safety was uh, scrutinised very, very carefully. And I imagine the collaboration between the scientists as well. Unprecedented. It's, it's nothing like it's ever been seen before, which is really exciting. So the fact that it's a global pandemic, it's an emergency, means we can just get on and get this thing made. We did, pretty much through everything, including the kitchen sink at this. Did you have to start from scratch with this vaccine? No, um, fortunately, we didn't have to start from scratch. We already had these plug and play type platforms, the viral vectors, for example, and the mRNA. And all, all that had to be done was the instructions um, for, the, for the coronavirus to be popped in there. And uh, then they could go straight into being assessed uh, in human trials, which really sped things up. Hooray for science. Look, thank you so much, Helen. I've been so curious about this process. I wanted to go into this whole vaccine process um, with a bit more information, and I feel like I've got that today. So kia ora. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. It was an uh, absolute pleasure. I really enjoyed talking to you today. Mm -hmm.